Today we're going to talk about the iBoss Classroom Management Extension. During the pandemic, this was an essential extension that helped us monitor what our students were doing. But now we're wondering what are the monitoring capabilities of this extension. So let's take a look. This is my productivity tips and tricks class. So I have added some fake people, we'll say. Um, so let's go ahead and click on that people tab just to show you the accounts. I'm gonna do keyboard shortcut control F to find quickly. You see we have STMS co-teacher. That is a teacher account. It's important to know we have, teachers have different capabilities than STMS student. So you'll also see STMS student. Now, to utilize IBOSS classroom management, we come up here to the extension. So when, if you have it there, you just click. If you don't see it, you can click on the puzzle piece to find the extension there. Once I click it, I think the easiest thing to do is just open the student manager. That will open all of the Google Classrooms you have and you're more easily able to see what students are doing. Once it's loaded, you'll see all of your classrooms listed. Again, we're gonna focus on this productivity tips and tricks. So let's click on view classroom and you'll see I have a bunch of inactive students. So let's take a look. Here we have STMS student at gisd.k12.nm.us. Now, this student is logged in on a Chromebook. So if we click on the image, that's going to enlarge what's been seen. And you'll see that it says 3.18 p.m., but I think the video is a little different. It's a little off, and that's one of the comments we've heard is there's maybe a five-minute delay, maybe a little bit longer, um, but eventually you'll catch up. What I can see if I scroll down is that this student has NPR open, which they do, and the classroom. So if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, I can see what they are what they have open and what they're working on. So that is on the Chromebook. Now, if I close that out, this monitoring really only works on the Chromebook. So I am going to close out of everything here. And I'm going to log the student out because we're gonna use this with the teacher account too. Okay, so I have signed out of the Chromebook. That's the beginning page. So we're going to wait for iBoss to catch up with that. And we're going to look at STMS co-teacher. It says inactive. If I click on it, all it does is just like this ping. Like, I, I know you're trying to click, but there's nothing there. However, down here, let me just see, uh, this is, okay, so this is the student account that has um, CNN. I wanted the CNN video playing cool math games and the productivity classroom. So we'll go over to the other S. This is STMS co-teacher. So this is the teacher account. The classroom was open. They have the web store open. They have, the Gadsden homepage open. But when I was looking at this iBoss Messenger, it says my student is inactive. Hmm. So I can't see what STMS co teacher is doing, even though STMS co teacher is here, maybe going to their district mail. I mean, all of these tabs should be able to be seen on iBoss Classroom Manager, but it can't because this is a teacher account. You cannot observe any teacher account using the iBoss Classroom Management, even if that teacher is a student in Google Classroom. There's STMS Code Teacher. They are a student. I can't I can't see what's going on. I can't even click to see. It says that student is inactive. 
Now, STMS student, it's still saying it's active. It's not. What I'm going to do right now is log in to that STMS co-teacher account on the Chromebook, and we'll be back to see what changes have happened. Okay, we're back. So as you can see, STMS student is inactive. But guess what? STMS student has productivity tips and tricks open. And just to make sure this is STMS student, there it is. They're also watching CNN and looking at cool math games. But I can't see it because we can only observe students who are using Chromebooks. So speaking of the Chromebook, I have now logged in STMS co-teacher, and you're probably not going to be able to see it in the video, but it is the co-teacher. They are in the classroom. I think you can see that. I'm just going to set this to the side so I can more easily navigate back to our iBoss classroom management. Here's my STMS co-teacher. I still can't see anything. So the bottom line is teacher accounts we're unable to see even if that teacher is listed as a student. Students, we're only able to see if they are using a district issued Chromebook. So even if they're on like your computer for whatever reason, I can't see that this student is on cool math games. So iBoss Classroom Management is only able to monitor student activity when they're using the Chromebooks. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other questions or suggestions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.